Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that a lot of people might know how to do, but there might also be a lot of people that don't know how to do this. So I hope it informs you, and maybe you learn a thing or two from it. Um, today, we're going to be changing out a light fixture. Now, I know that probably a lot of you know how to do this, like I already said, but if you don't, hopefully this helps you, and if you do know how to do it, maybe you learn a little bit more from this video. So, uh, yeah guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I currently have the light fixture off, but if I turn it on, you can see that that bulb's blown, that bulb doesn't work, which of course they're just bulbs, but I'm not a big fan of this huge light all the way across here. I mean, it looks bad, it's been there forever, and I've already got a new light to replace it with, so uh, we are going to be replacing this light right here today, guys. So, the basic things that you need to know is that whenever you flip the switch that powers this on, the light comes on, obviously, right? You mean you flip the switch, the light comes on. Bam, pretty simple. So whenever you cut it off, there's actually no power going to it. So you don't necessarily have to cut off the circuit breaker. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is remove all the bulbs from the light fixture. So I'm going to get up here now and remove all the light bulbs. Okay, so you guys can see me in the mirror. Uh -huh. The next part of this is probably the hardest part for most people, and that's figuring out how the light actually comes down. Now, on this one, these things pull off, and you're able to pull this face, face plate over it. So I'm going to set you guys back up on the tripod, and we're going to pull all these off, which is how this one in particular works. Uh, there's a lot of different designs and light fixtures, so you just kind of have to figure out how yours goes together. Some of them will have nuts that hold like the plate on or whatever. And some of them just have these. Some of them screw in. This, these just kind of slide on. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different designs, so figuring it out is the key to taking it down. Okay. So as you can see, I've probably already got this set off. But um, after you remove whatever is holding this plate on, because there usually is a plate. Ah, there's actually a screw down here, and there was down one down here too that I didn't see. But after you take the heart, let me get you guys up. But I uh, sometimes, after you pop off the thing, I actually stripped it out, but I think it'll be all right. We're replacing it. Um, just make sure you don't do anything like that whenever you're putting it back up. But as you can see, there's actually a screw here that was not revealed before so sometimes you'll pull off like a decora piece and there'll be a screw there so yeah now my fear is that there's no paint behind this and this is gonna look stupid so because my light that I'm putting up is a lot smaller so I don't know we will find out though but anyways guys the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver or actually I'm gonna grab a drill and go ahead and take this off Okay, so you've got your thing off. Now, the next thing that you can do is if you didn't believe me before about it cutting off power, is you can take either a ticker or a um, meter and test for voltage. Uh, if you guys want me to show you, I will go grab my meter. I actually, I'm sorry, not if you guys, because obviously this is going to be a video and you can't talk to me until after it's published. But um, I am going to go grab a meter and prove to you guys. I am going to go grab my meter and prove to you guys that it is dead. So, Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take these wire nuts off. And we're holding the wires together. Now this, actually as you can see, the a tap already broke. But this one right here, this is your solid. You can probably see it coming into it. And then this is your stranded. This is your white stranded. This one, this one right here goes to your lights. So you'll obviously see that whenever you get your light off. Whenever you get your light undone, but um, yeah. So that's what we're. So these two right here are the ones coming from the box. So these are the two we're gonna test with our meter. And there is nothing on it. Okay. Oh wait, I'm testing the wrong thing. All right, but there's still nothing on it. So. As you can see, you can touch them together and nothing happens. 
So obviously there's no power going to it, like I said, guys. So in case you don't take me for my word, now you know that it does work just like I said it does. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is apparently this thing is actually screwed to the wall. But it doesn't look like it's cut off the wall. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut out. We're going to go ahead and take down the light. Now there's three screws that hold mine to the wall. There could be more for yours, depending on what kind of light it is. But there's three screws. There's one here, here, and down there. So hold it to the wall. And uh, I'm going to be using a drill, but you can't use a screwdriver. Uh, so whenever you take out your last screw, make sure you're holding the light so it doesn't just fall. Okay. Set that down. Remove all this over here. Oh my god. Yeah. So, whoever put this light up, obviously didn't know what they were doing. Okay, so, yeah, I, um, there's no box set, and the new light that I got requires a box. Now, if you're putting up a light like this, I, I do recommend people go ahead and putting a box up and running your wire into that box, but unfortunately these people did not. So, I'm going to show you how to mount a cutting box too today. That's, it, that's fine. The only issue is, is my light going to cover up this hole? Because if not, we're putting the slide back up. My goodness. This is a mess. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, there's an enormous freaking hole up there. So, um... Yeah, we are going to have to put a box in, um, because of the fact that the new light, <clears throat> which I haven't even shown yet, looks like this, okay, right here, and uh, it has these two holes right here, which holds the light to something, now in this case you have to have a box, now with most lights you will have a box, well, I say that, but I've seen a lot of houses that have been built and they did this, so I, I see this a lot, um, whenever I'm out doing work like this, I see it a lot, but um, it's not really hard to put in a box. You just have to make sure that you have one. This is a plastic cut-in box. Now there's two types of boxes that you can get. There is what I call a nail-on box, which is for if you're adding new things, you would use a nail-on box so you don't have to use this. Makes it easier later on. You don't have to cut out sheetrock. Uh, the sheetrock can be cut around it. Or if you're adding something to an existing ceiling, which like this, this is an existing wall. It's been here for years. You're going to have to use a cut-in box like so. Now, how this thing works, okay, is whenever you run these screws in right here, these flaps right here grab the sheetrock and pull the box towards it, locking it in place. So it's not going anywhere. You push your wire through these little flaps here at the back, which are right here, right here. Push your wire, you stab your wire into there, and you're good to go, which is going to be this wire right here. You can probably see it. Hope you can. Um, but, I mean, I don't have a lot of wire to work with here, so I'm probably just going to cut it and try to pull it out. Make sure that you don't cut off your wire too short, because then you're in for a mess. Because, at that point, you have two choices. You can either set a junction box somewhere, which is something that probably only a licensed electrician would know how to do, or a very experienced one. Or you're going to have to run a new wire from the switch to the light, which is also a major pain. So the best thing to do is just kind of snip off the end there if these are all tangled up like these are. I actually might be able to save this. I think all I have to do is cut the ground. But um, I think I can save this. I think I can save everything here. I don't have to redo any of it. So um, yeah, I hope I've explained everything. Uh, I'm actually going to tell you how to put it in the wall. I know I haven't done that yet. So if you can see that, let's see. Let's get you an angle here. So as you can see, this doesn't fit in the hole right here, which I'm putting it right here because that's where the biggest hole is already at. Plus there's a pipe right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a pipe there. And there's no way that I'm cutting around the pipe. Or there's no way that I'm cutting it. Um, there's no way I'm getting a box there with that pipe. Because it would be ideal for it to be right there. That's the middle where it would be great at. But we cannot put it there, so we have to put it here. 
which, what the freak, now it fits, um, no it doesn't fit, there's going to be a little bit of cutting that has to be done, but um, basically you just cut it out until this bottom, let's see if I can zoom in, okay, see so this flap, basically I want to cut out until that flap goes in the wall, because basically what it's going to do is it's going to come down like this and grab the bottom of that sheetrock, so it's going to go in the wall, you're going to spin the screw, it's going to come down, it's going to grab, and you're going to run it in until it grabs a little weight, and then you're going to run the other two in that are up there. That's how the cutting boxes work. Now, I'm going to go over this real quick. Something to remember. That if your light comes with a bracket, now this one did not, so it's going to be, you know, I can't really show you. But um, if it did come with a bracket, then you can screw it to the box, turn the bracket however you want, and mount your light via that since it has two holes. This one does not have a bracket. Now, I can go get one because my dad is a licensed electrician. So I can go get one and probably use it. But I'm going to show you guys a trick. So, imagine how you want your light to sit. Okay, this one, I want it to sit like this with these two things facing up. Right? So, these two holes are here. Okay, if I turn this box, see how the two holes are like that? If I turn them in the same direction as these, all I've got to do is run two screws through this into this box, and bam, the light is hung. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, that's the next part. Okay. So, I just wanted to show you guys how to mount your box. Um, now that I think about it, I actually completely forgot to fix the wire. <laughs> so, downside the box back out. Um, because I had a lapse in judgment. So, I'll be back. So, I'm actually going to run the wire at this time. It's going to be a freaking parted. So as you can see, I just pulled it back around the pipe. It's pretty simple. Usually things are just laid up in there. But in the odd case that they're not, you might have to cut a staple. But usually you don't. Okay, so now all the hard part's out of the way. At least if you had to mount a box, it was. Or it is. Um, so, if you had to mount a box, it's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. As you can see, I did line up the top two. Like I said, I was going to do. Um, the thing that I realized is, is that for this thing to look really professional, it did have to come with cap nuts. But uh, I actually do think I have a way of doing it. But, um, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, I may just go grab some 832s and do it. So, uh, if you, whenever you buy a light, if you're buying a light, like, you're, if you're doing this in your own home, you probably bought a light. And it probably came with everything you needed. 
So the next thing that you're going to have is two screws that came with your light, okay? Probably going to be about, you know, you guys can't even see both of my fingers. Okay. Probably going to be about, for you, about, you know, yeah, long. About yeah, long. Uh, decently long screws. They're going to run into the box, and then you're going to have the bracket that comes out, and the bracket's going to screw onto it. Luckily, I mean, this is a light that I already had. So it did not come with a bracket. So I am going to show you guys how to bypass the bracket, pretty much, um, by just tapping your grounds together. So you have a ground, your neutral, and your hot. Okay, hot neutral ground. Okay, this one supplies the power. This one takes it back to the panel, and this one grounds everything to keep it from shorting out. So yeah, we're gonna get to you now. Tiring work. Tiring work. So for the next part, you're going to need a box knife and a pair of wire strippers. Basically, it's going to take your box knife, strip back a decent amount of wire. I never been really good at this, but I do get it. all of your these little paper things that only wire strips them back since you've got fresh new wires okay so let's make this simple for you you've got so you've got a white coming off your light a black coming off your light and probably a bear you guys can even see that there we go a bear coming off your light so Basically, they're just all going to tap together using wire nuts. Careful if you're working on a mirror, too. Give me quite the startle. Whew, spunky. You're going to want to strip back your wires. Pretty much just find the right size. It's usually 14 or 12 wire is what you typically would run in a house. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff here. You're not, you're not really having to worry about rewiring anything. Like, you know, an entire house or something. It's not like it's a huge ordeal. I'm actually using my leg to hold up the light while I do this. So, there's some pointer for you. Now make sure that you pull on the wires that you put in to make sure that they're not loose because a loose connection, a loose hot or a loose neutral can cause an issue that can cause the light not to come on. And you'll have to get back up here, take your light back down and redo it. That's just for insurance purposes. Oh, uh, I am gonna have to go grab another wire nut, so I'll right back. <laughs> Hopefully, I can. So you can probably use the wire nuts that came with your light. But uh, if you're doing this a lot, probably gonna have some of these on hand, which is a red or a tan wire nut. I prefer tan wire nuts on these because uh, here's here's how my mind works. If I've got two wires that are solid like this, like 12 or something, that are nice and big wires, yeah, they'll fit underneath the tan. But if I've got three of them, I'm gonna use a red because it just works better and they seem to fit a lot better. So yeah, there's a rule of thumb for you if you want to use that, if you want to go by your own method. It's fine too. I'm not going to hurt my feet on the promise, guys. Ah, see that? I made the tap and it came loose.
Okay. All right, we got our new light wired up. All right, so now your thing's wired up. Now you can go ahead and grab your screws and run your light in. Basically, just shovel those back in the box and run your screws in. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait Hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone So I just put bulbs in one of the lights and it comes on. Ta-da! So I don't actually have a bulb for the other one. Well actually I just might. We will see. Okay. Let's see. Look at that. They both come on. It's amazing. So. Oh, you guys can't see me, can you? I like it. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I'm at a very awkward angle right now. That's because I'm actually standing on my counter. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. Tell me how I can make my videos way better than they already are. And uh, I'll be, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.